Hey everybody, it is Wednesday evening, and you'll never guess what I didn't get to do tonight, and because I got there too late. You guessed it, ukulele lesson. I still haven't got to go to this stupid thing. And when I scheduled this after the last one, I wasn't supposed to be working at this other office. I should have been in my normal office, which means I would have got off an hour early and went over there and I'd have been there in plenty of time. Now at this other office, I get off at 7. So I rushed down there and got there by 7.30. And it's literally probably about 7 or 8 miles away. And they were already halfway through the lesson. So I'll just have to reschedule for another time. I did see a guitar in there I really liked. But I always do that. <laughs> And I never want to buy any new ones. I always want to buy the used ones. It's kind of strange. Anyway, so I missed out on that again. Uh, hopefully you guys got to watch the underwater vlog. I was going to do voiceover on it, and I ended up playing with the captions a little bit, and it ended up working pretty good like that. So I'm hoping on Sundays that I can alternate on weeks that don't go to our friends and go swimming, I'll do the bike vlog, and then the weeks that we do go swimming over there, then I'll film the underwater vlog. We could, uh, be interesting black cops hauling ass. It makes the vlog a little more interesting than sitting here watching me yawn. I didn't find anything out on call the college thing yet. I'm still working on that. Uh, we're we were busy at the office today, so I didn't get a chance to do a whole lot or make a bunch of calls. So hopefully I'll find out, be there tomorrow or Friday, what I'm going to do about that. And I've got to go to the orthodontist. My teeth are killing me. So I'm like, on, I guess I'm two weeks past due, and everything from, from this over hurts. And so I'm thinking that I need to go back in pretty quick, but I gotta figure out, it'll have to be next week when I go to the other office, because it's, it's actually closer, since he's so far south in Austin, I'm pretty much on that side of town when I go to the other office, plus it works out because usually my appointment's at 8, and I'll get there, and then get out by 8.30, and then I have an hour to get to work, and that's usually no problem to get to work within an hour, so. I forget when I go this way, there's sunlight. So, I have to get that taken care of, because my teeth are killing me. Like, they're hurting, hurting, like they're pulling even more. And, uh, I'm, and maybe just he needs to pull this wire out and adjust it, or adjust something else. But I think that they're doing good. I know these back ones on this side are pulled way up. They're way higher than my other teeth now. So I'm excited about that because at least those tads, as painful as they were when I first got them, they're actually working now. The other side, they don't seem to be working as well. But this side, they work really good. Like they've really pulled the teeth up. Uh, other side, it doesn't look like it, they've done much. So, but I'm not the orthodontist, so I don't know really what it has done and hasn't done uh, other than I can definitely tell on this side oh god man I'm so tired I hate being tired all the time it's just these drives back into town when I'm leaving Austin and it's usually this time of day that gets me right around well shoot it's nearly 8 now Right around 7 o'clock, I start getting tired. And then I go home, and either I'm uploading this or editing something or watching TV or playing Minecraft, and I totally lose track of time. That happens a lot. And then I don't go to bed until, like, midnight. And I, but At least with going to this office, I don't have to get up as early. I don't have to get up until 8.30 because I don't have to be there until 10 traffic's usually not that bad, so. See, 
That's why I keep pausing because I keep gunning my head off. Oh man. Rough. So this week I have a ton of stuff I have to accomplish during my lunch, which is hard to do sometimes. I have to go talk to this other credit union that I want to belong to and make sure that we qualify because we can't they don't have a branch in our town, so it's not like I can just go, well, I live here, and that's, you know, I get automatic membership, but I do work in Austin, so that should count, and they should allow me to join, because our credit union that we have now sucks, and I definitely wouldn't recommend them to anybody. Their software, their online software is antiquated. Their mobile app no longer works. It just stopped working. So, you know, I can't transfer money between accounts. It'll let me do it if there's money in both accounts. But if one account uh, doesn't have any money in it and I need to transfer from savings to checking, it won't let me. Which is usually when you need to transfer money. So, I've, I've just had enough. And I should have changed this a long time ago when I was going to when we got back from San Francisco. And I just got caught up in other stuff. And But I need to focus and get with them tomorrow during my lunch. And see if I can get everything switched over. And then try to get a hold of the college to see what all I need to do. We're coming up on the end of May, and June's when the registration is, so I've got to figure out something this week and figure out what steps I need to take to get this done. And then we'll have to save the money so I can actually register for the classes. And, and I don't think they start till the end of August, I think it's when they start. So I'm kind of excited. I, I kind of always wanted to go, and I feel like I missed out on that experience, but, you know, I got lazy in high school, and if I hadn't gotten so lazy, I wouldn't have had that problem. I could have went to college with no problem, but I did it to myself. Nobody did it to me, so. But I def I've been wanting to go. Oh, sorry for a while, but I didn't know if it was affordable or what, I didn't know what the deal was with it, and then I was thinking, well, it's kind of complicated, and I'm getting older, and there's probably no point in going, and really I'm doing it because I want to do it, I would love, you know, to be able to say that I have that, that I accomplished that. And the fact that a lot of companies are now going back to requiring it. And the reason that is, is because the job market gets flooded with people looking for jobs. Uh, especially in Austin and Houston's that way too. Even Dallas is getting bad about that. And so, people are coming from other states and coming in, moving in, and then going and looking for a job. And these people have degrees and they're getting hired over people that, you know, that maybe even work for that company in another capacity, like a contractor or something. And, you know, they get hired over them because they have a degree. So, you know, it's kind of twofold. God dang it, that's cold. I really want it because I want it, and it's something I want to do for myself. And then, on top of that, I want to be able to get hired on permanently where I'm at because I love where I work I just want, I don't want to be a contractor I would rather be able to say, you know oh I actually you know, work for the company and have insurance and have the other benefits of working there so so that's my big goal for this year is to get that done uh, on the diet front I'm doing okay I really need to just focus more, and I need to, I think what I'm going to do is pre-cook a bunch of stuff and start taking 
meals that, that we make instead of buying like TV dinners and stuff and really get my calorie count down and my protein up. So that's, that means I'm going to be eating a lot of chicken, which is fine. I just need to figure all that out and start doing it. You know, we have a grill, and I can pre-grill chicken on the weekends. I can get up Saturday or Saturday night and cook a ton of chicken, and then we can freeze it, put it in little containers with other stuff and freeze it, and I can take it to work and eat it up. That's probably what I need to do. So it'll be better for me. The hard part is, is that with this other office, sometimes it gets slow and I get bored and I want to snack. And that's where my problem lies. So I, when I'm at the other office, it's not as bad because I tend to have something to do all day. So I don't think about snacking. But I do need to find better snacks for myself that, you know, aren't going to add a bunch of weight to me. That it's stuff I can eat that'll be still healthy for me. So, all right, I'm about to get on this rough road and it's going to get really loud on camera. So that's all I got for tonight. Uh, we're looking towards some rain tonight, hopefully. Uh, they're saying flash floods. I hadn't seen crap yet, just a few clouds here and there. Even though it did rain at work today for a little bit, for like maybe five minutes, but I haven't seen anything else. Anyway, you guys have a good... Wednesday evening and have a safe morning on Thursday and I will see you tomorrow.